What's up guys and welcome back to UFC 3. Today we've got a, uh, a pretty important couple of fights because I want to complete my contract. So you guys can see we've already beat one of the contract goals. The other one is to have your title at the end of it and there are two fights left. So we've got to win both fights this episode if we want to complete that and move on to our next contract. So hopefully we can make that happen. Fingers crossed. Let's see who we're going to be fighting. Let's see who this is going to be. Any moment now, kind of holding us in uh, in limbo here. Jorge Masvidal, all right. He's 60 and 26. UFC 334, medium height fight with four weeks leading up to it. All right, we're going to go ahead and take that. It's the only fight we can take. It's a title fight. And uh, we're going to make sure this time, unlike in our last episode, we're actually going to work out at a gym, which is going to be very, very helpful. So I think I really like going to Carisi's. It's not going to let me do Carisi's. Um... There's really no reason to spend a bunch of money, but we'll go for the biggest one, because why not? 80K for the four weeks. We're going to go through. We're going to make sure we're fit. We're ready to go. I don't think we're going to learn any new moves. I'm kind of comfortable with our current moveset. I'll see if there's anything interesting, but I feel like we've already kind of learned from all of the, the trainers in this gym, and uh, I'm going to see you guys when it's time to fight. We just finished up with our sparring here. We're up to 97% fitness, which is good. But uh, I just noticed it gives you keys to victory. So it says your opponent always seems to come out in the third round with the fury. Let's make sure to finish it before then. All right. So we want a round one or two knockout or submission or, or really anything we can get. That's kind of interesting. I like that. I never really did sparring because you don't need to do sparring until later in your career. Because when you train to increase your attributes, like for example, weightlifting right here, you guys will see it's going to take our fitness up. So training does it, sparring, sparring just does it way quicker. And, and so as you get older and as your, your kind of body wears down and stuff, it makes a little bit more sense to spar. So uh, we're going to spend some time on our stream. We're going to be on a video game cover vote. That's kind of cool. We're going to predict the fight, win by knockout in round one. And now we're going to be here for the fight. Here we go, boys. We got it to a very high hype fight. Let's go. We're going to be working on those PPV sales, baby. Coming in like hot money Mayweather, learning to market ourselves. Here we go. World Welterweight Championship in Vegas. I'll see you guys there. Let's see what we're working with here, boys. He's 43, 5'11", 170 I think we fought Masvidal before, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we had no problem with him, so... Hopefully this round one knockout stays true. Woo! Yes, sir. Get on him. No way. No way. No way. Dude, I thought we were going to do it right away. People's elbow, come on. No? He's going to try to take the back, I think. Back mount? He's got back control here. Back flat? He's flattened him out. Rear naked. All right, here we go. Get under the chin. Let me try that one more time. Once again, working on a choke. He's got his back. He's looking for the rear naked choke. From here, what he wants to do He's is He's got way too much energy right now, dude. We're okay. Here we go. Woo! Dude, he is not feeling... He's not feeling good at all. Yes, sir. That's it. Let's go. I freaking called it, baby. I called it. Dude, we annihilated his head right from the start right there. He was done. He, he was out. I, I, I knew it. I called it. We freaking did it. Let's freaking go, boys. Oh, my goodness. All right. I promise y'all, next knockout is not going to be from the spinning heel kick. I just realized that that, that makes three fights in a row. The, the thing is, is, especially with the last two fights, we've really worked on, like, getting them weak and then using that. So I don't really see a problem with that because we used a lot of our hands and uppercuts and stuff leading up to that. But I don't want every single knockout to be from our heel. Call me the freaking people's heel, bro. 
Man. That was slight work, I'm not gonna lie. When, when fights like this happen, it makes me think maybe I do need to bump it up to pro. But then we also have, like, we've had a loss on this difficulty. We've had a couple of close fights recently, so I, it's tough. If you guys want me to bump it up to pro for the next episode, drop a like on the video and let me know down in the comments. We, we might be able to try it. I think that'd be kind of cool. We might be able to bump it up to pro and see what it's like, but I'm telling you guys, I, I, I think that's going to be ridiculous. I think we are going to get absolutely manhandled in that. So uh, anyway, 80K for the contract cash, 100K for the win bonus, and $678,000 for the pay-per-view payout. Holy cow, boys. All right. Fight one of two is down. We wanted two wins to finish out this contract. And uh, let's see if we can make it happen. Who wants it next? Who are we going for next? One thing I did notice or remembered is we've called our fight once before and we actually got it right. I'm pretty sure we predicted a knockout in round two. That was like super early in our career. It might've been like our first or second fight, but we called that twice and we've been right twice. We, we hold it down, baby. All right, we've got Steven Thompson. He's back for a fourth time, bro. Go home. Please go home. You're like... You're old ancient news, dude. Nobody wants to hear from you anymore. So I'm going to take this fight. It's the last fight of our current contract. And uh, let's go ahead and get going in camp. I'm going to go to... Uh, I'm going to go to Carisi's. Actually, we kind of... I, I would like to learn some new submissions. I'm going to try crossbreed MMA. I'm going to see if we can learn a couple new submissions. All right, guys. So next up, we're trying to learn the Gogo Plata here. You got to work for that trying. So... I'm gonna try to submit him. Going. Lock those legs together and squeeze. Beautiful triangle. Oh, we almost had him right there. Submission Next up, we're trying to learn the go go plata. So I'm gonna put him in a triangle arm bar here. That's it. Good submission. That's a triangle. Do we get it? No, we didn't get it. I thought we freaking had it, dude. All right, we've got to restart. So, yeah, they want us to, to pull off a submission from submission full mount from here. Mount. So I feel like triangle armbar is go. probably going to be our best triangle. bet. There we go. That's it. Work for that submission. That's it. Beautiful. Dang it. We're so close every time. This is actually kind of hard. I mean, this guy's... It, it's meant to be hard. Some of these... All right, Learning new moves, sometimes it's really, really tough. So here we go. Let's work for that submission. There we go. Keep working for that triangle. There we go. That's how you get a submission. Woohoo! What a triangle. Woo! We got it. Let's go. Yes, sir. All right. Go, go, Plata. Level uh, four. And the triangle level five. We got some new moves. Good stuff. All right, boys. I don't know. We might try to go for a submission in this next fight. This guy's the one that's like all fast and kind of zooms in and out and tries to just box you. So maybe we'll kind of weaken him up a little bit and then take him to the ground because he's not going to be ready for it. Could be a good strategy. Good old Mr. Thompson here. It's good to see you in the office again, bro. I miss this face. I miss punching it. All right. So again, we're our strategy here is to kind of let let him do his thing. Ooh, we're doing a a good job with our defenses here, being very evasive. Little head kick, little head kick. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna let him fight like a little diva. Kick to the body. Oh, kick there. Just dodged my kick and then gave me a little throat punch. But yeah, we're gonna let him fight like a diva and then we're gonna we're gonna take him down with a a submission. We're both losing quite a bit of stamina. Get on him. Stack guard. 
Full guard. Posture up. He's posturing up here. Excellent movement here on the top mount. Let's get the top mount. Here we go. Here we go. Triangle arm bar. This is it. Oh, is he an active pursuer of the submission? That arm looks locked up top. Dang it. Beautiful job. Ooh, we could still do something here. Triangle choke. Triangle choke. Excellent posture here. Get up. Dang it. Messed that up a little bit. We're okay. Break this. You're gonna be he's he's getting the double underhooks like he's trying to toss me or something, bro. You ain't tossing anything. Maybe some pancakes. Tomorrow morning when you think about this loss. He's gotta figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Oh, big uppercut. I was about to to introduce him to my heel. Oh, and he continues to snap off these jabs. Good way to keep his opponent at distance. Lands a punch. Oh. Feeling like KSI out here, baby. Take him down. Nope. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Jabs all over the place. 24 seconds left. We aren't gonna have time for a submission, so let's just uh let's just chill. Couple more hits in. All right, completely dominated the first round. Got one submission attempt in. Unfortunately, we were a little bit slow in our reactions, but we're okay. We just gotta lighten him up a little bit more. We gotta, gotta loosen him up. Here we go. All right, let's get to round two. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round. To try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round. Ooh. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot. Tap mount. Perhaps that's why his opponent. Triangle armbar. Come on. Perhaps at this point. Looks like he's going for a submission. He's going for it. He's got the arm locked in, and he's out. Dude's quick, dude. He's in full guard here. He's looking for the triangle. It looks like he's got it locked in. Throw that leg down. Clamping down with head. Dude, it is so. Oh! 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 This just turned into the WWE. Holy cow, dude. Oh my god, he just picked me up and rocked me like that. Are you kidding me? Beautiful employment of the jab here. Nice defense there. Huge block. How about that shin? Thompson's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Yes, sir. Deep danger right now. Deep danger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get on him. Get on him. Here we go. Stack guard. Half guard. Top mount. We're going for it. Triangle. Come on. Armbar, armbar. He's looking for the mounted triangle here. And what he wants to do is he wants to get one of his opponent's arms down. Put his leg I can't. Dude, I can't freaking do it. I just, I can't, I, I can't react that fast. I don't know how you... Like, he's weak. He is hurting. I, I don't know how you make it so that the timing isn't as quickly. The timing isn't as fast. The timing is just so fast. Like, I, I can't react that fast. I can get lucky if I predict it, but... I just can't. It's, it's tough to react that fast. I don't know. We could probably try something besides the triangle. The reason why I like the triangle is because... Uh, It's it only ta it's got like three sections to it. A lot of the other ones have like six sections, so you have to like be right for way longer. I don't know. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Thompson. Fainting with that kick. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Ten minutes in the books. His stamina is way better than ours, but he I mean he's he's hurting. 
I'm, I'm worried about it though, because when you're low stamina and you get hit, that's when you get knocked out. So we we could be like one shot knocked out here. I'd be pissed if I lost the belt to this guy again. Super pissed. Keep the pressure on with your striking and try to finish him, it says. Maybe we shouldn't go for anything too crazy here. Try to keep our stamina up. We've landed 70 significant strikes, dude. And he connects with the punch there. Whoa! He is clearly in big, big trouble here. Whoa! That's it. Oh my god, dude. His face. <laughs> Alright. Well, we ended it without the back heel kick and we tried a bunch of submissions. I mean the thing is is our like our, our ground game is at hundred. We are almost a max out one hundred percent fighter on everything. So like, the only, I, I don't know how to make it easier for us to get those submissions. The thing is, is our, our character build is for a brawler, so we're meant to punch with our hands. We don't specialize in submitting people, but I still think it'd be fun to try to try to get some more. So I don't know what you guys think, but uh, that was a fantastic fight. We did it. We're going to get our next contract, which is exciting. Holy cow, hold on. We got to look at these fight stats. We have to look, we got 1.05 million dollars off our pay-per-view. 1.2 in total. Five knockdowns, 78 significant strikes to 32, 82 to, he actually had a decent amount of, of total strikes. One takedown, four submission attempts, minute 37 to control. Dude got obliterated. Like there's, there's nothing else to say there. Dude got absolutely manhandled that entire fight. I think it's time he hangs it up. I think it's time he stops stops challenging the champ at least that's what i would do I, I would spare myself the embarrassment so um not gonna give that title up contract earned uh-oh legendary 200k a show quarter million a win let's go i'll take it all right boys i'm gonna see you guys in our next video thank you guys so much for watching peace out